Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I just wanted to mention, because I'm in here doing some wiring on my house. Uh, we're building a new house, and I'm, of course I'm an electrician, so I'm doing all the wiring. Also in my job, I actually do electronics. And I wanted to show you my new favorite multimeter, and that's no kidding. Out of all of them I have, I actually use a Fluke 77 all the time, until now. And this new one from Astro AI, I took this thing to work and I've used it for the last two weeks. And I just love it. I mean, there is a couple cons that I'll mention that I don't care for, that they could upgrade, but other than that, it is really, really cool. Um, this is a true RMS. It says it is 10,000 count. It's actually 9,999 count. Smart digital multimeter. This thing has got a lot of features that I really like that my Fluke don't, and I, that's why I like it so much better. Some of the specs on the back here. And you can see it does come in a nice case. It's actually a pretty compact little case. It's one of those cases that's made out of that hard foam. So when you open the case here, you have a manual, which is pretty handy. It does have the meter itself. This is one of my cons that I don't care for on it, is it does not have a kickstand. I do wish it had a kickstand. It does have a nice LED light, which I do like. And this is a rubberized housing that can be removed. And put back on you take this off take the back of it off to change your batteries but if it just had a kickstand that would be a real plus and inside here we have our test leads and then we also have our temperature test lead and there is the extra three batteries it comes with inside the case there so test leads are actually pretty simple just like any of them easy to use they do have these rubberized tips that can be removed if you're working in some electronics where you got to reach down in you don't want to be shorting it out these the side of these you can put these on and then you just have the contact tip to worry about otherwise normally I leave that off at all times uh, because I test from the side a lot but if you don't need it you can put these back on the right one and test it that way and then of course on this end it has the plugs that go into the meter itself which has little caps in there that you don't need after you take them out and plug them into your meter the cool part about this is when you turn this thing on power buttons on top so we hold the power button down comes on check out this display now is that a display or what this thing is really cool big bright display you can really see what you're doing and when you turn it on it's automatically on auto and that's why you can see this meter here that shows this little gauge it's going through voltage test uh, ohms test and continuity test uh, you can actually manually change them functions to whatever you want uh, so if you select manual, push this and you can go through the different modes. Then we go to continuity, we can go to diode, we can go to capacitor check, millivolts, hertz. Uh, that's our temperature check. It has Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, it also has this test here, this NCV, where we can test voltage on a receptacle without a probe. And what I have right here, there's a receptacle right here so I can actually go ahead and show you. You can see it's on and hopefully you can see that but it has an L on it that's low voltage with the L so it beeps like that when it's on high like that that's showing that you have high voltage when it's on low you're probably not close enough to the post and it shows an L for low okay it also has a feature to where you can actually connect the probe into it and test to see which one of the terminals on your receptacle is live so if we push this select button it tells you which probe to plug in right here so we'll plug that one in and now what we can do is test on our receptacle and see which one is live this is real handy in case you uh, are testing a house that maybe you didn't wire but you want to make sure they wired it correctly so normally on a receptacle the right side the little short post is going to be your common and your neutral is going to be on the left so if we test this side here it doesn't show anything we test this side here and you can see it shows L, we have voltage. So that's how you can test. You can test see which one's live and which one is not. Sometimes you'll check them and you may have this side live where that's wired in correctly if that's true. And that's what that's a good tester for. Okay, on here we also have milliamps and it tells you which leads to plug in. And light, the lights flash indicating which ones you need to plug in. We push it to amps. It also tells you these two is what you want to plug in. 
and then when we go back here it's telling us because we're on auto again so it's telling us which ones to plug in while we're on auto which is these two here okay so now we have our leads plugged in and we're on auto so it should tell us the difference between whether we're testing AC or DC automatically we don't have to uh, set it on AC or DC we can just test it and it should work so what we're going to do is test this extension cord here see what it says it's working showing we're 116 117 volts AC true RMS and it shows that we are at 60 Hertz which is correct so it tells you the Hertz and the voltage right there now we're still on auto so we'll go ahead while we're on auto and test this AA battery it'll automatically switch over to DC and show us that we're 1.582 volts DC if you look on the left side there you can see it says DC and as I said you can take it off of that if you want to do it manual when you first do it you'll be on DC and you push select you're on AC now if we go to push the manual button again we'll go to ohms we can test resistance if we push it one more time we can do continuity tests which touch our leads together and you can see it shows continuity and it's beeping okay so I've set up this little breadboard to do a little test and just a test the meter I've used it all week and this thing is really really accurate so no problem with that but I want to just show you a few things I've got some resistors some LEDs some capacitors and a diode and we're going to do a little test in here and see what it does the first thing we have it on is ohms and we're going to check these resistors across here so the first one I have set up is a 1k I'm going to test it across here and it shows these are plus or minus 5% resistors and it shows 0.994 which is pretty darn good so here is our 2.2k which is 2.167 that's really good our next one is a 3.6 ohm this big one here make contact here so 3.6 3.5 that's pretty good our next one here is a 360 ohm and there you can see how close that is and now that's the resistor not the meter the meter is actually accurate the resistors are plus or minus five percent as I said our next one here is a 120 ohm resistor and you can see it's reading 118 and that's pretty accurate about what these resistors read and the next thing we'll do is we'll put this on diode check so we want to move our meter to where it shows the diode symbol and we'll check this diode and that's pretty close 0.56 that's usually what this reads this is a 4007 diode and that's about what they always read so it'll beep on the diode too and then it shows you 0.559.56 that's pretty close uh, next thing we have in here is a couple LEDs while we're on the diode check is how we check the LEDs so we'll test them and here we have an amber LED which is good we can test the red LED shows good next thing we have here is some capacitors of different styles so we want to take our meter we put push the button and I set it on capacitance so we can take and check these I need to switch my leads around here this is the negative side with the stripe positive side over here so we test the capacitance here you gotta hold it on for a little bit let it get a good reading and it'll come up and show it so it shows uh, 451.7 and that is a 470 microfarad capacitor so that is really accurate the next one is a thousand microfarad capacitor hold it on here a little bigger one take a little bit there we go uh, 948.1 that's pretty good that's a 1000 microfarad capacitor our next one is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor this little small one here and it reads 2.218 our next one here is a 1 microfarad capacitor we'll test it right here and it's a 1.073 so that's actually all all these are actually accurate and like I said I've used this thing for about two weeks I took it to work used it uh, so I could actually know how to operate it and see how accurate it was and I absolutely love this thing this is the best 
multimeter I've had so far. Uh, I did mention a couple complaints that I had. One of them is it don't have a kickstand. I wish it did have a kickstand, but I can live without the kickstand. That's okay. Another thing is, on the main screen here, it says Celsius. shows you the room temperature, the ambient temperature in here, but it says Celsius, and you cannot change that to Fahrenheit. 27.7 degrees Celsius, you can't change it to Fahrenheit. Now, when you plug in the lead, say we want to go to over here to Celsius Fahrenheit, and we want to do the temperature probe. Now, when we do that, it's on Fahrenheit. Celsius down here, Fahrenheit up here. And it works good, but as far as the main screen, it only shows Celsius, so I wish it would show Fahrenheit on the main screen. And as you notice, when I go around here, I'll go back to the temperature test and when I do like this it tells you which lead to plug in so we want to take this one out we're going to plug in our leads here for our temperature probe to come with it so we will plug in our black one here our red one here and then here is our temperature probe just this little end right here you can, if I put it on my finger you can see that the temperature is going to start going up you can see it's at 87 there hold it a little tighter maybe 89 so the temperature is going up and it actually is really accurate I tested it at work I'll stick it in this cup of ice right here and we can see the temperature go down look at that dude go down so really nice that it comes with the temperature probe and set up real easy and it works so good and it does tell you Fahrenheit and Celsius both so the temperature works great so as far as everything on this unit I really love this unit it's it's super handy I like the auto mode I don't all I have to do is turn this thing on it doesn't matter if I'm checking AC or DC, it automatically knows it. Or if I'm doing a, a Ohm's test, or if I'm doing a continuity test, it automatically knows those three. And you don't have to change it. You can manually, but you don't have to. That's really handy. Uh, the temperature works real good. Everything works good. It's very accurate. Uh, as I said, it does have the NCV where you can test just by touching it up to a receptacle. There's your power button on this side is automatic power off. You can see it says on the screen here, shows that little power if you push this like that. Now we're on standard where we can have an automatic power off. And on the back here we have the LED light. And on this side it has a little picture of a flashlight. So if you push that, you automatically have your little LED light. So which is really cool when you're testing in a breaker panel or whatever. You got your meter up like this. You can see by that light what you're testing in the panel and it actually is a pretty bright light at night so I like that feature too to have the light so like I said everything I love my only complaint is they should have this where you can set it to Fahrenheit and be nice if it had a kickstand here on the back at less than 50 bucks this is one heck of a deal for a multimeter very good meter very big display nice and bright has all the features you need really like it if you guys like this video click the thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'll put a link below where you can check out the Astro AI new digital multimeter thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures catch you on the next one right on